Welcome to the South Carolina State Library. This will be a short introduction to using our catalog, which is called SC Lens. To get a card with the South Carolina State Library, you can fill out an application that is available online here. You will need to sign it so you can either print it out and email it, scan it back in, email it, fax it, um, bring it by in person, or mail it. Once you do have the card, you will be eligible to use some of our restricted services. Our catalog is available here under the link Collections. And as I said, it is named SC Lens. SC Lens stands for South Carolina Library Evergreen Network Delivery System. It is a consortium of public library systems around the state and the South Carolina State Library. It means that we can borrow books from other libraries in the consortium and return them to one of the libraries. So it's kind of a cooperative system. I'm going to search for a book that I desire called The Hobbit. I'm going to go in by keyword, so I may have to look through several entries. And right now, the, cat, the search box is set to search all of the libraries in SE Lens. My search retrieves about 146 entries. You can see that there will be several pages of information. As I bring my scroll bar down, I find one that I do want to check out, or at least to look at, this one here. Here I have the complete catalog record for this book, and I say, well, gee, I wonder if it's at my library, and if I go through all of the libraries that are listed, I'll find it is not in the South Carolina State Library. However, I can place a hold on this, this book. Here I will need to enter in my library card number, which is on the back of the card. Here is the account for this number, and I have the opportunity to place a hold on that book. The system will go to a lending library, and the book will be retrieved and sent to the library that I am at. Once it arrives, the system will send me an email, and I can come down and check out the book. I can use it and then return it either to South Carolina State Library or to any one of the South Carolina of the SE Lens libraries. So even though South Carolina State Library does not have that book, I can still check it out and use it. All right, this time I'm going to change my search. I'm going to go to Advanced Search. And I'm going to search for a subject. This is a subject that is common in state agency um, expertise, and that is wetlands. I'm going to go in by subject because I don't know of a particular title that I want to look for. I could choose to limit my search by item type, by item form, by a language, by an audience. Perhaps I needed a book that was a juvenile book. I am going to say, though, I do want to search only the South Carolina State Library books. This time, I find that I have 137 entries to go through. And if I use my menu on the left-hand side, I can restrict my, my search to maybe a particular author by a particular corporate entry, maybe a state agency, or by a more narrow topic. And I'm going to choose wetland conservation. This time I have 42 entries, and I'm going to choose a few to uh, take a look at. This first one here looks interesting to me from the information I have there, so I am going to add it to a temporary list. This gives me an opportunity to get several titles together to take a look at, and here is my list that I am beginning to grow. 
So on this first page, I see, well, gee, this one here looks interesting. So I'm going to add that one to my temporary list. And I'm going to add this one here to my list. I could go through the rest of the entries and continue to add items. To view my list, I click on the link and I see my three entries. If this is something that is important to me, I could name my list. I am in my account and that list will be kind of like a bookmark for me and I can continue to add items to it. This first one though looks interesting and if I click on the title I'm taken back to the catalog entry to find out some information about the book. It is available in the State Library and if I come down to Shelf Browser, I have an opportunity to look at what is right next to that book. The Dewey Decimal System shelves books by subject. So I find that not only is this book about my topic, but some of the ones around it may also be of interest to me. If I go back to Advanced Search, I have an opportunity to search under numeric search also. This might give me an op uh, if I have a book's ISBN number or if I already know what the call number is I can retrieve a book that way or if I have an item barcode if I have the item in front of me I can use that also as a search item. So that's a very short introduction to SE Lens our catalog for the consortium in South Carolina. SC Lens circulates around 362 items a month and it transfers roughly 18,000 items between library systems. The libraries are implementing an open source integrated library system that saves our libraries more than $300,000 a year. Thank you very much for attending this brief overview. If you need more assistance, be sure to, to call or stop by the reference desk at the State Library. Thank you.